In this video, we are going to see how multiple people can edit the same file at the same time. All that you need to do is save the file on OneDrive and share the link with each other. So this is a Word file. It's a long file, 114 pages. I want to share this with my assistant. I don't have to go to Outlook or email. I can do it from this share button itself. If I click here, this will be an anonymous link. I don't want that. So click and choose specific people. I do want my assistant to edit it. If I wanted to, I could have made it read only and also block download. Now I'm going to add the email ID of my assistant right here. Of course, you can add email IDs of people who are outside the organization as well. They don't need any Microsoft license. They can edit it purely on a browser. So I send the link as a mail. Mail is still going, but file is not going. File stays with me. Link goes to others. This is my assistant's inbox. It's open on browser. Assistant received the mail with the link. So let's see what happens when this person clicks on the link. The file opens. It's in edit mode. And this person does not get any error message. If this was on a file share, assistant would have got an error message saying, sorry, you can't edit it because Nitin is editing the file. Wait for Nitin to finish. So this is the benefit. Multiple people are now editing the file at the same time. Now, how does assistant know that someone is editing? We did not plan to come together and edit it at the same time. It just happened that way. No problem. So look at this. It is saying that Nitin also has the file open. This is the view assistant is getting. Now, if you look at it as Nitin, this is Nitin editing using full desktop version of Office. As Nitin, I am seeing that assistant is editing the file. And if that person was on another page, I would also know which page that person is editing on. In order to understand this better, I am going to split the screen. On the left side, we have Nitin editing. On the right side, we have assistant editing. So what happens is, when left side Nitin clicks somewhere, right side assistant will know where Nitin is editing. Same way, when assistant clicks somewhere, Nitin will know where assistant is editing. But that's not all. This kind of editing is almost live. So let me type as Nitin on the left side. This is like Word. I can do regular editing, but multiple people are able to edit at the same time. Now this can lead to confusion. So notice what happened here. While Nitin is editing, that particular paragraph is locked. Now I stopped editing, so the lock was removed. So it's temporary locking to avoid confusion. Now what happens in a table? While I am editing this, this is assistant, so I'll just type. Now on the left side, what is locked? So Nitin cannot edit here, but Nitin can edit here. So it's smaller now, only cells get locked. Bottom line, without confusing each other, we can edit the file together. How many copies are there? Just one copy. Right now, for demo purpose, I'm showing only two people, Nitin and assistant, but there is no technical limit. 15, 20 people can also edit the same file if there is a business requirement for doing so. What is the net result? We are going to get a better quality document faster without any manual work of copy pasting. Now suppose I am editing very far away. I am some last page here. Now how does assistant know where I am? So when you click on this, it also gives you an option. If you want to go to the place where the other party is editing, just click on go to location. Right now, assistant is on page one. No problem. It'll directly take you there. So there is some amount of coordination also. You can even do chat to discuss about the document with each other. But wait, there is another way of editing in a smarter way. I have something called cost here. 
is 43 million. I want my boss to approve this costing. I don't want the boss to read all the 100 pages. Just look at the number, say good, bad, change it, whatever. Now, of course, I can click on the share button and share it with boss exactly the same way as I did with assistant. But what is the problem with that? The link will go to boss. Boss will click on the link and which page will open? First page will open. I don't want that. This is far away, some 20th page. I don't want my boss to waste time reaching that 20th page. So what do you do? Remember when you don't know something, right click, right click and new comment. Comment is not a new feature, but the way comments are used in Word, Excel and PowerPoint is new. So click on it. It will allow you to add a comment and I will just say, please approve. The question is, whom am I talking with right now? I seem to be talking with myself. Doesn't make sense. So somehow I need to tell this guy, I have to share it with boss. Ah, okay. So at the rate, like we do in social media, and I put boss's ID. I have given E man as the display name for a boss, but that's okay. And now when I click this button, which is called post comment, word will understand that I'm asking for something from boss and this file is not shared with boss. So you don't have to go to the complicated sharing dialogue now. It just puts two and two together and say, should I share it with boss? You just say, okay. And that's all there is to it. Now, this is another way of sharing. Both will share the file. In both cases, the other party can edit everything in the file, but there is a difference. All right. This is boss's mailbox. It will open on browser like it happened for assistant. It has actually put the text which I had put a comment on and just for better understanding, it has put few lines above and below. So the context is better established. Now here itself in the mail, it is asking boss to put a comment and let's say boss approves it. Done. Boss has done boss's job. Now let's go and look at my document. Notice by the time I came back to this document, boss's comments already merged. So this is how contextual sharing can also happen very effectively. Let's see the same thing happening in Excel. What happens here is similar to Word. Let's go to the same cell. I click on B2 here. Right side, assistant will know and vice versa. Of course, both of us can be in the same cell. And then what happens? It refreshes live on other side. The last person to type will win. Unlike word, there is no locking. Whether it is formula or data or even a pivot table, it works exactly the same way. So I'm going to remove something from here. I'm going to remove country. It's done and it reflects live here as well. So now I'm going to put card in rows and that also works. I'm going to change the calculation, show values as percentage of column total. It's almost instantaneous. So practically everything is similar. The only difference is when it comes to data sorting and filtering. Suppose assistant wants to sort this on the card. And I don't want other people who are editing at the same time to get confused because suddenly without any warning, data gets sorted or filtered. To avoid that, this is what happens. So I'm going to right click, choose sort, let's say descending. The moment I do that, it gives me a message. This message you have to understand. Basically it's saying, who will see your changes? I want to see only my changes, so see just mine. And now it is sorted in the order of card here, but on the other side, that means for other users, it did not have any impact, which is good. Also notice that it created a temporary view just for yourself. When you exit, that view will be deleted, but if you want to, you can keep it and reuse it even after 
you close and reopen the file. Now another very useful thing in Excel is to know what changed where and when. So if you go to any cell and right click on it, on the desktop side, as of now, you don't have that option. But if you do the same thing on the browser version of Excel, it has an option called show changes. So this is only being shown for this cell called B2. If you want the same thing to happen at a global level, what do you do? This is again a browser feature right now. You go to the review tab and choose show changes. And this will show it across the board, across sheets. So this is how you can know who changed what and when. Also remember, this is a link which works with direct recipients only. What is the significance of that? If this person assistant forwards this mail which contains this link to someone else, they are not going to be able to open it, which is increasing the level of security. This would not have happened if it was an attachment. Let's see what happens in PowerPoint. Again, left side Nitin, right side assistant. In PowerPoint, there is a thumbnail and there is actual slide. So at thumbnail view, as well as at individual slide level, we know who is editing where. So right now, assistant is in slide two, and that is what Nitin is informed on the left side. Now, if both of them happen to be on the same slide, what happens? So right now, assistant is on slide two, Nitin also happens to be on slide two. Now, of course, this name will indicate so, but people are going to edit something in that slide. So the moment they start editing something, the other person is informed by putting a box around it and showing the name of the person. Now, what happens if I type something here? So I'm typing demo. And of course, that is going there. And what happens if I type something here? So as far as possible, it merges the changes. Only if there is a conflict, it will give you a conflict message and ask you to choose. This is smart art. Now in smart art, suppose I add one more. Notice it's quite easy, fast and reflects almost instantly. Now, another very important thing you will notice here is after the work is done, now assistant has finished making those changes and probably gone to another slide, but still it shows you these blue things, which are basically showing you who changed what, when. This is visible even when you did not have the file open when assistant was changing. So retrospectively also, you come to know who changed what and when. The only thing is, once you see this and understand what is happening, then when you come back, it's gone. So it's temporary. Unlike in Excel or in Word with track changes, you can see it permanently. So that's how we manage collaborative editing in PowerPoint. And remember, whether it is Word, Excel or PowerPoint, one person could be using the full version of the product, another person using browser version, another person using mobile version on iOS or Android. Doesn't matter. Exactly the same process. So that's it for now. Thank you.